Hi folks, welcome back to the horde. So read the numbers and weep. Um, let's see. Today's shout out. I want to give a shout out to my man you dizzy. I've um I ran across him, I don't know, a while ago. Um, he and I have talked on the phone. We've never met face to face, but um, I'm sure if we did, we'd get along beautifully. I always try to bring a little firewood down when I'm making the trip. Um, what I respect the most about you, Dizzy, is he, uh, he doesn't let anything slow him down. He keeps moving. He could be a... Uh, he could be an inspiration to all of us for that, right? I mean, he, uh, how does one say he doesn't, he doesn't say die, he keeps going. Um, he also builds, sorry for the darkness, folks. He also builds one heck of a bike, right? For those of you who've seen the John Deere bike and the, um, the fire bike and, you know, the other stuff, he's, redoing a Model T um, and you know he's got a lot he's got a lot going on you know he works in a very small space kind of in a uh, basement root cellar shop and he uh, he makes things happen he does a good job one has to respect that in a person right so go check out my man you dizzy he uh, he does nice work um, this place here, obviously not the greatest place to have a wood stove, but I have a coal stove on both sides of it, and I got nothing above it, and I'm careful to not let the piles get too crazy. Um, today's video, today's video is going to be on timing this thing. Um, not trivial, because, well... It's not hard to do, but if you do it wrong, you kind of kill the engine, right? And if you just put all kinds of time and effort into rebuilding it or um, it won't start and you want to see if it jumped time or whatever its problem is, you, uh, you really, it's, it's important to do it right. If you don't do it right, um, your piston comes up and your valves go down and they do smashy smash and then you're screwed, right? Um, really fairly easy. You look down there, you see the zero, right? And you see the little notch right there, and you see the zero. So, and then right here, you see the notch right there doing a lousy job that notch and you see that zero you just line them up what I do is I normally loosen the valves up all the way um, I spin the piston up to top dead center and you want to make sure your cam lobes are all the way down. Your valve should be closed. Um, it's not all that difficult to, um, when the head's off, to um, turn it such that this is aligned right here. Obviously, um, with the head off, um, it's not hard to turn the cylinder such that it's top dead center. I then put this cover on and make sure made sure I was aligned. Um, and then I just had to, to get this back on. By the way, the easiest way of getting this back on um, is with, uh, you kind of put one screw in, right? Um, and you kind of wiggle it down. Because you got to kind of pull the gear up with the chain on it, right? And you want that aimed forward. And obviously, you you 
set where your cam is before you put this back on set where you want your cam to be right then you take it back off you kind of feed it up with the chain on it you get it into position I found it easiest to kind of put one of these on then you kind of wiggle it so the center snaps in you got everything in the right place you make sure you're at um, you make sure you're aligned here right back to the light make sure that that's all lined up nicey nice make sure this is lined up nice and that's all there is to it. Can you do it wrong? Not if your um, not if your cam lobes are down, your cylinder is up, because this engine sparks on um, every revolution. So it sparks once, and because you're on the top of your compression stroke, she uh, she fires, and uh, off you go. Then she also sparks on, um, what is it, your exhaust stroke there. Um, yeah, the, the, the top of your exhaust stroke, the beginning of your uh, intake stroke. So, um, and it doesn't hurt to fire there. So if, once again, your cam lobes are down, you got this in the right position and that in the right position you really can't screw it up um, if you don't have three so, some sometimes they're cheap and um, you really can't put this on wrong sometimes they just have two opposite each other then then you really you really really have have to pay uh, attention to make sure once again your cam lobes are both down right that um, your cam can move quite a lot before you hit e either valve right so you want both both your cam lobes down um, you want your valves really nice and loose and uh, and then you you put it together that way if not you'll kinda you could be 180 out and you really don't want to be um, 180 out. You really don't want to smash your valves up. You really want to pay attention and do this right. If anybody has any questions, um, let me know. But just remember, I always think of man up, right? This is up, right? Though that's not up. If it had a horizontal cylinder, it would be up, or a uh, vertical, vertical cylinder, it would be up. So, um, and lobes down, right? Cam lobes down, away from your um your your cam followers here your um rockers okay so up up lobes down valves closed and once again you could tell because if you were to move your um your cam right now you would have to move it quite a lot in both directions before you um actuated the valves right got it good um once again i mentioned with wtbm i had a bear of a time i wasn't going to get those um rings off i ended up heating them up using my propane torch right there and then um this exacto knife i kind of had to work my way in the um, ring gap and gradually kind of heated it up and worked my way and heated it up and worked my way then worked the ring completely around and it it came off very gentle if um if WTBM if Terry didn't recommend using the uh, propane torch I would have never ever got it loose all right, folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and go, go out and visit you, Dizzy. He's a good man. Bye now.